The news that every Islander fan has been waiting for came out yesterday. Lane Lambert, done as the Islanders head coach, fired by GM Lou Lamorello and company. This is something that myself and Islander fans have been waiting for pretty much since last season for this to happen. It was never the right move in the first place just because he was assistant coach under Barry Trotz in Washington and then with us uh, during the Trotz era here on Long Island. It, you just you never saw a quality coach in Lambert at, at any point last year or this year. No emotion behind the bench. No discipline with this team. Completely abandoned defense. The, power, the penalty kill and the power play completely switched from last year to this year. No consistency. The line's constantly changing. Thank God he is out. And who is in? Hall of Fame goaltender. One of the greatest of all time. Patrick Roy will take over behind the bench tonight, making his coaching debut for the Isles on the island at UBS Arena against the Dallas Stars. That's why I'm rocking the jersey, because I will be in attendance for this, and I am pumped up. Roy will bring the tenacity behind the bench that the Isles have been missing all year, all last year. He's, they're going to get a guy that's going to fight for his team, that's going to hopefully instill defensive structure back to this team. That's what he said in his press conference today, earlier today, that defense wins championships, and that's where he wants to start first in getting this defense back to where it was under the Barry Trotz era. Hopefully he can do something about the penalty kill as well. And the fact that the Islanders are so undisciplined in taking so many penalties and then giving up goals on a majority of those penalty kills. We saw Roy when he was the head coach for the Avalanche Last season with them was 2015-16. In his first season, 2013-14, first game, as a matter of fact, against the Mighty Ducks, they beat them down 6-1, to one, and he still almost broke the partition that divides the two benches to go after um, Mighty Ducks coach at the time, Bruce Boudreau. That's what the Islanders need. The Islanders need a guy that is going to be ready to scrap like he was in his playing days, fighting opposing goaltenders and, and going after players. That's what we need as a head coach. And he's going to bring that. Not only that, but he he brings he can bring a winning formula back to this team. In that first season with the Avalanche, he won the Jack Adams Trophy for the Coach of the Year. He also led them to the number two seed in the playoffs, 112-point season. Yeah, they were bounced in the first round by the Wild. But hopefully he can restore a winning formula. He won the Memorial Cup last year with in the uh, Q, QMJHL with the Quebec Remparts. And he won it in, the, in his first season as the coach of the team in 2006. I believe it was his first season. But nonetheless, they won the cup that year. as the third cup that they've won. Last year was the third cup that they won. They had a 56-win season. So this is what the Isles needed. A guy like Rua, and I hope that he's the answer. I have faith that he could be the answer. And anything at this point, any coach in the league is better than Lane Lambert. So let's go Islanders, let's rock UBS tonight, and hopefully Roa can restore this team who's on a four-game losing streak, two games out of the last wild card spot right now, falling fast in the Metro. They, we got to turn this thing around, and hopefully Roa is the guy to do it.